So, so far, we have our map displaying on the screen, as we saw a moment ago. But what we really want to do is provide an initial location as soon as our map is actually displayed to the user. I mean, it really doesn't help to give the user a big old map that shows every possible country and continent that there is, um, at least on our planet. What we want is to zoom into a specific city, maybe to your specific restaurant, or maybe even display a whole bunch of restaurants within a certain region or area. Whatever the case is, we know that we want to specify a specific location for our map to start on, um, based on whatever the criteria is. Before we can do that, or give it any location, we have to wait until the map is actually initialized and ready to be displayed. So the first step that we always have to do is provide an event listener. So I'm going to come over here and add an event listener. Now, when we listen for this event, we want to listen to a special event, which is a map event. So I'm going to type map event, and then it controls space to provide um, pop up the code entering list. And you see map event is listed here. By selecting it from the list, I will automatically go ahead and add the import statement, of course, if you're using Flash CS5. Now, the event I want to listen to is the map ready event. The map ready event will let me know, again, as soon as this map is initialized. And once again, we cannot provide the map with any criteria for locations or geocodes until we know that the map is ready to be displayed to the user. As soon as that happens, I'm going to tell it to call my map ready, do map ready function, which I'm going to go ahead and define at the very bottom of my code block. Do map ready. It's going to receive one argument of type event, which of course would be a map event. And when it's called, it will return back void to the user. All right. So now we're ready to rock and roll. Now, there are lots of different ways we can tell our map to display information. One of the ones that we'll learn a little bit later on is how to use a geocode. With the geocode, we can actually take an address and, or maybe just search criteria and convert that into one or more potential locations that we can then plot onto the user's display. The other option is for us to provide an explicit latitude and longitude position. Now, the way I'm going to do it, we're going to need to give it a specific latitude and longitude. And I want to display my home city and the place I live, which is New Orleans. Um, I've gone ahead and taken the time to get the latitude and longitude coordinates specific for New Orleans. And I have those sitting right here. So we won't have an issue with that. Now, with that said, um, I'm going to tell my instance that I want to set the center. I want it to center my map based on a specific set of latitude and longitude. OK? Now, the latitude and longitude um, argument is the first argument that's being passed here. And I need to pass that using the lat -longe class. So I'm going to create an instance of that and provide it with those values. So let's create a new lat -longe. Notice the import statement has been added up above. And my latitude and longitude for New Orleans is going to be 29.964722. And the longitude will be negative 90.0. 070556. Five, All right, so we have that. The next argument, even though it's not actually named here, um, is the zoom argument. The zoom argument can be a value that starts at 0 and can go to as high as, um, in my experience, approximately 21. But I am saying approximately. Um, 0 gives us a zoomed out view that shows us all the continents in the entire world all in one big, big, big view. So centering with a zoom of 0 pretty much it just won't show you anything, right? Now, um, we can zoom in extremely tightly by giving it a higher value. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set it to 15. In my experience, 21 is as tight as you can get. For some images, Google may have um, closer flyovers that they've done. And with those closer flyovers, you may be able to get a higher zoom rate than 21. But 21 pretty much gets you right to the roof or the top of a house. So you want to kind of gauge things. And you know, I assume that's typically going to be the highest you're going to get. The next is we have to say the type of map that we want to use. So I'm going to say map type, and I'm going to do a control space selected from the list so the import statement gets added above. Now when I hit the dot, dot here, you see how we get a series of different map types. Now the default map that you see, if you're just to head to maps.google.com right now, that's the normal map type. That's the gen general map type that most of our users are going to be familiar with if they're working with Google Maps. Um, I personally like the hybrid map. I want you to see the detail of New Orleans because, you know, the center point, the latitude and longitude for New Orleans that we're hitting here puts you right by the French Quarter. So we get to see a little bit uh, more of the city uh, as opposed to just a vector map of the city. 
so I'm gonna go with hyper um, with hybrid but of course you could go for a satellite picture only hybrid where you can see the street you know and the actual overlay or the default n are normal as it's listed here cool beans so at this point as soon as the map is ready it's gonna automatically center the map to this latitude and longitude coordinates that I've actually given it so let's go ahead and run this um, we're pulling in the Google Maps data that latitude and longitude should be applied and let's see, we're seeing New Orleans. And we're seeing New Orleans at a zoom rate of 15. And this is based on what's considered to be the center point of the New Orleans area. So I'm going to go back and let's zoom out a little further and say 10. So at a zoom rate of 10, once again, we're pulling in the Google Maps data. And we can see that this gives me an entire view of the entire city of New Orleans. For the most part, actually, uh, no, that, that's really an entire city. I always tell people that New Orleans is pretty much a big island. Um, you really can't drive into New Orleans without crossing some body of water, be it Lake Pontchartrain or, or some, other, some other place, Lake Bourne. But either way, we're seeing in this, in this picture that we're zoomed out quite a bit. Now, let's look at the maxes and the minimums. Zero would be the farthest zoom amount that we could possibly go to. So we're zoomed way, 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 way out. So it's centered here, centered on New Orleans, but you can't really tell because we're zoomed out so, 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 so far. Um, so this is the maximum zoom value. Um, the tightest zoom value that we can possibly do, from my experience, has been 21. Now, 21 literally gets me right on top of a house. So this is, I guess, whoever lives right there in Dumain Street, that's, their house is apparently the center point in terms of latitude and longitude of the city. That should be valuable for some reason, uh, I'd imagine. If I want to try and go closer, say a 25, you can tell it to do that, but Google will just let you know that it has absolutely nothing at that, that level um, if it's not available. So let's see, give Google a little bit of time to try and pick it out. And I find that if I give it an invalid value, it takes usually a little bit longer time for it to figure out that it can't find it, um, as opposed to just showing a map uh, immediately. Yep, so here we see that it's telling us that um, it can't find anything. I'm also seeing a bunch of output at the bottom because we're beyond the normal zoom level. And so it can't give us any criteria at that point, um, just as I expected. So... I like 10. Actually, you know what? Maybe we can sit in the middle, like a 12. That sounds like a good, good value. Um, now, the other map types we have here are the uh, normal map type. Pop that list back up again. So with a normal map type, this is the default. We've been working with uh, Google Maps for a while. So here we're seeing New Orleans zoomed in. And right here we're seeing the normal in the default way that Google actually looks. Um, the other one, besides the hybrid, which I originally used, is the satellite map type. And this means without the overlay um, with the street information that Google provides to us. So here, any second now, if that wonderful hotel internet speed uh, kicks in, we'll see our satellite view of, um, of New Orleans, um, again, at the zoom rate that I provided. Yep, any second now. I know you can feel it coming too, can't you? Yep. Sometimes I feel like just moving the screen around a little bit will speed up your internet connection. I don't think that actually happens, right? It's all in my head. But there are lots of crazy things that are in my head. But that's, uh, that's another blog post, probably. So here she goes. Here's our picture of New Orleans. Again, this is the satellite view, so without all the other criteria that's here. Okay, so um, hopefully that works for you guys so far.